Every person on this planet has their own unique pair of eyes. What do you believe in? I'm a scientist, I believe in proof. Maybe the eye really is some kind of window to the soul. Why are you working so hard to disprove God? What was the inspiration for the story? I think the, the eye is this beautiful, wonderful, strange art piece that's unique to yourself. All seven billion people on the planet have their own unique eyes. And if you look really, really, really closely, you'll see it looks like a universe. Why the eye? The eye is the one sticking point that religious people use to discredit evolution. They use it as proof of the intelligent designer. What was it about Ian that made you want to play him? Well, one thing that interests me about Ian was that I haven't played someone like him. I'm a scientist, I believe in data. I like the layer of biology, I'm most fascinated with the eye. Mike trusted me with this character and that he saw it in me. Um, really made me, one, respect him as an artist, and two, he's seeing things that other people aren't seeing. What would you do if something spiritual disproved your scientific belief? Is it difficult to sort of blend the whole spirituality angle, the science? Is that difficult to have the two of them sort of come together in harmony? It's definitely something I'm obsessed with. The way we approach it in this film is that science is the domain of the physical. Like, you can test what you can perceive within your natural senses. Spirituality is metaphysical. It's beyond, like, we may not have access to it. What kind of research did you both do as a director and as an actor to get into the role, get into, you know, the entire Eye Origins scientific side? We had the good fortune to go and visit the Johns Hopkins uh, Research Laboratories in Baltimore which is like a huge, huge medical center. You know, we went in there, we met scientists. They really, really took us under their wing. And it was amazing to be able to do that as an actor, to like go through those motions. Most people's doors are completely closed. What's behind the door? Love and anger and fear and joy and sadness. 